Alright gang, Jeremy Hazel here from 7 Season Studios and this week's tutorial is all about symmetry in Affinity Designer. This tutorial was actually requested by one of the users in our Facebook group. So symmetry is not one of those things Affinity Designer does as well as Adobe Illustrator, but there are workarounds. So I'm going to show you one here using the node tool. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and create a workspace of any size. Let's grab our pen tool and I'm going to click and I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to go ahead and turn this line down just to kind of illustrate this. This is going to be our center line, right? There are other ways to do it, but for right now, we're just going to use a center line for symmetry. Then I'm going to grab control and with my pen tool selected here, I'm going to tap and I'm going to tap. Perfect. Now with my node tool selected, let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out to make our heart. All right, that's a pretty awful looking heart. So right about somewhere in here, let's go ahead and add a round node. And let's put some really cool swash up in it here. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and make it just a little bit more round up here at the top. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead here, turn up our stroke. Looks good, and let's fill it. Now, you'd think this is pretty good. Let's grab our move tool. Let's look at our layer structure here. There's my curve. I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna duplicate. So now I've got two curves. See where that is right here? And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transform it using my flip horizontal. And now I'm gonna pull it into position. Now, you would think that here's the way you would normally do this. Let's go ahead and delete this middle line. You'll see the pesky white line that develops, right? No matter what you do, this really won't go away. You can grab it, you can move it, and then you're off a little bit. And the more you zoom in and the more you work with it, this pesky white line remains. Now, you could do a couple different things with it. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this. You come over and you grab your node tool and you grab this line, hold shift and grab this line. You see we've selected both the curves. Click and drag so that you're grabbing both those endpoints. You see this endpoint for both curves is selected. And now with our node tool selected, we're gonna come over here and you're gonna join curves. Now watch what happens when I click this over in the layers panel. Pow. It took the two separate entities, made it into one entity, and then it just filled it in. It told Affinity Designer, you're gonna treat this as one solid curve, you're gonna fill it in, and away we go. So other than that, folks, you could have worked highlights and whatever you wanted to do outside of here. Those would have transferred over just fine. So when you do this part, you wanna make sure that you're working with one shape, and that's one way to achieve symmetry in Affinity Designer. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, check out the guide, the complete guide to Affinity Designer. The link's down at the bottom. All right, have a good one this weekend. We'll see you in the next one.